Yes, yeah. Cybernator is a hit and miss game for the Super Nintendo. To break it down simply, you play as, in fact, a Cybernator, a giant mech robot thing that makes stuff go boom. The controls take some getting used to, but once you do, it's a very satisfying game to play. How can you beat flying around in a huge level shooting stuff till it explodes? You get a machine gun, missiles, and lasers, you get to punch the hell out of stuff. There's no mazes to navigate, no puzzles to solve, it's just straight ahead mayhem. It's just so much fun on the most basic level. I really like how they get across the size of your mech robot in this instance, with the scientists and soldiers running for their lives, it's such a nice touch. It reminds me of another Konami game, Contra 3. But sadly, I get the feeling that the developers realized this too, and wanted to differentiate it somehow. So they shoehorned this big epic story in there, something about the Axis versus the Federation, the Earth versus the Moon, and everybody's fighting over fossil fuels, and I, I just don't care. It's a nice story on its own, but it does not belong in a game like this. Now you gotta admit, the developers behind Cybernator did take a bold step. They had a can't-miss idea for a game, but then they decided, well what if we tried to make the player actually care about who and what they're blowing up and why? That's pretty ambitious, but the way they went about executing that was sloppy. They literally just stopped the game so they can run this dialogue past you where you have to press the B button like 50 times because it's only 5 words on the screen at a time. Yes, I know, this is Jake, that's why it says Jake colon right there. There are ways to tell a story in a game, but this is definitely not one of them, especially in a run and gun game. Could you imagine if in Contra the game just freaking paused out of nowhere just so the guy could say, Home base, you copy, there's a giant weird ass looking turtle that busted its crumpled looking face out of this concrete wall, over. Other than that, Cybernator gets a lot right. The levels are pretty big, they remind me of Super Turrican in a way so you get plenty of space to seek and destroy stuff. But what I like best about it is how much variety it has for a run and gun game. There are shoot 'em up levels, as well as sections where you're floating around in zero-g. Well, two-dimensional zero-g, but still. There's one level where you're falling from the sky after blowing up the space station. It's really well done. Cybernator is really a run and gun and shooter hybrid. I'm not sure what other game on the Super NES can fit that description. Again, comparing it to Contra, that game just tried to go for variety by doing these top-down levels, and it just felt like a bummer. You always felt disappointed when you got to those levels, and they were a chore to get past. That's not the case in Cybernator. The variety actually enhances the game. So yeah, if you don't mind the constant interruptions, you gotta check out Cybernator. It's a blast. Literally.